Hi, this is TJR, and this is my uh, second um, Blu-ray release review. Uh, the first time I did one is when I received my Blu-ray copy of Mulholland Drive, a film by David Lynch. And if you know me, you know that I'm rather fascinated by the work of David Lynch. I'm also uh, equally fascinated by the films of the Quay Brothers, and uh, probably for obvious reasons. Uh, both filmmakers um, really seem to just have this knack for interpreting the language of dreams onto film. And I just find that utterly fascinating. Uh, now these, if you've never seen the Quay, the work of the Quay Brothers, unlike, say, uh, David Lynch, who deals with, you know, more long-form narrative films, um, or as narrative as he can be, many people find these films uh, uh, somewhat abstract, to say the least. Um, but uh, the Quay Brothers films completely abandon narrative and instead go for imagery and music. Now, this is the first time that any of their films have been released on Blu-ray. Uh, previously, there was a, a DVD release set, a rather nice collection called Phantom Museums, which I never owned. It featured 13 films. Um, this particular collection uh, comes to us courtesy of uh, Zeitgeist Films, and it features 15 films, uh, three of which I've been told have not been on any previous collections. And it also features the uh, short film by uh, filmmaker Christopher Nolan, entitled Quay. Now, this collection comes very nicely packaged here. Uh, there's this slipcase, first of all, which, uh, of course, then you can take out the actual Blu-ray packaging here. Uh, very beautiful looking. And this is in a digipack. It folds out here, like so. I'll let you take a good look at it here. There is this booklet here that is enclosed. And um, now the booklet uh, first features uh, an introduction by uh, Christopher Nolan, uh, whom I mentioned before. There's a short film by him, kind of a documentary um, of sorts. It kind of takes you behind the scenes, lets you peek inside the uh, Quay Brothers uh, studio and lets you kind of see some of their process involved in their filmmaking. Uh, you might find this fascinating. You might also find it um, a little bit demystifying, uh, seeing some of the mystery of their films um, taken out uh, by seeing the actual process involved, uh, depending on your point of view. There's a photo there of the Quay brothers. They are twins, and there's filmmaker Christopher Nolan there with them. Um, then there is this uh, uh, Quay brothers dictionary. Now, I was expecting actually notes, a listing of the films with notes about them. Instead, there is this uh, dictionary here that has terms and individuals. Uh, that have either been used in their films or or that have in some way influenced their films. And so this is not what quite what I was expecting, but it was interesting to read. Um, I found out through this that the uh, Brothers Quay have actually directed commercials, uh, TV commercials, uh, directed TV commercials, which uh, surprised me. I've never seen those before. would like to catch those. Uh, also, I found out that I have been pronouncing their name correctly. Uh, many people have tried to tell me that their name is pronounced K. Not Quay, but it is actually pronounced Quay. So I'm glad I finally won that bet. And um, anyways, but it has photos, of course, as well. And then after the uh, dictionary here, there is an afterword here. This afterword is written by Michael Atkinson, and who is written for the Village Voice, among other publications here. And um, uh, anyways, but uh, this is a, a really nice package, I thought. And um, it's great to see these on Blu-ray. These films look absolutely amazing. Um, I know that there are other films out there. Hopefully those will be collected as well. This is only a Blu-ray release. It is not available on DVD as far as I can tell. Obviously, if you're a fan of the Brothers Quay, this is a must-have. If you have never seen their works before, uh, you might want to check some of them out on YouTube. Um, you can probably check some of those out. There have been some, also some music videos that they've directed as well. Another thing I learned uh, from reading through the notes in this uh, collection here is that the uh, Brothers Quay are, uh, while London-based uh, right now, are American-born. And that struck me that uh, both them and also uh, filmmaker David Lynch, also American-born. And I think it's interesting because um, I'm sure that there are many who would think, oh, they must be European, uh, very artsy-fartsy, that sort of thing. And in actuality, they are actually American. And, uh, and not even, uh, while David Lynch does live in Los Angeles now, uh, not even L.A. born, where people are supposed to be more artsy-fartsy. But anyways, though, love these films. This is TJR. I hope you found this review useful. 
and please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.